Everybody, welcome back. I'm the Strategy Professor, and today we're going to be doing a coaching session for Alistar. So, special thanks to Raymond for the generous donation here. This is patch uh, 10.9. Near the end of 10.9. If you'd like a coaching session yourself, just email me at the Strategy Professor at gmail.com. Let me know what you have in mind. Okay, we got it. 30 seconds until minions okay. spawn. Um, sorry, I was. Streaming this as well. Come by, check out the stream. Lately, we've been starting around midnight. I'm trying to. I'm going to try to dial it back to start around 11 p.m. My sleep schedule's just been kind of weird in the the virus world we live in now. Um. Okay, good. In the virus world that we live in now, so. Um. Anyways, come by, check out the stream. It's friendly. It's fun. Very chill community. I try to be as informative as possible and just kind of narrate what's going on in the game. My thoughts on you know what's going on in the game. And then I'll also try to hold a conversation with the chat as well. Um, so come by, hang out, chill. It's a good, friendly community. If you want to watch more coaching sessions, I'll have a link in the description. Uh, we've got over 200 coaching sessions on the channel. It has a picture of the champion in the thumbnail. So you can very easily sort of flip through if you want to see more Alistar games or any other champ that you like. Um, go through, check it out. The vast majority of my uh, support games are for or my games are for support. Um, that's what I've done historically a lot. Although I have been working on jungle a bit more the last few weeks. Okay, let's go ahead and get in here. Um, Aftershock, Sona with Comet, and misfortune with dark harvest so they're gonna have a little bit of burst you got to be careful with that because that's a little weird my comet does more than airy typically in the dark harvest catch you off guard if you're not watching for it if you're low health what's up esper magic okay. yeah you just want to push in uh they got a nice ward for you up on raptors Ivana most likely started blue, and she's just going to be clear. Okay, she's up there on Raptors right now. So you guys should be able to push without worry of a gank. Now, you do need to um, either try to get a back timing where you can get a control ward or save one of your initial wards to put on Dragon at 5 minutes, because Shivana will try to do Dragon very early a lot of times, because she gets the extra armor and magic resist, and she does extra damage to them. She's one of the fastest solo dragon takers out there. So you gotta, you gotta keep an eye on that. Also know that she could potentially try to gank you around that. But she'll probably be on the bottom side of that. So usually she'll try to clear top, I think. I don't know if it'll leave. I didn't see everything that happened up there, but... At least definitely interacted with her in her jungle in some way, but it doesn't look like she got her flash. Weirdest spring, you mean in terms of weather? Or just, I mean, yeah, it's definitely the weirdest, like, moment in American history I've ever been in. <laughs> if we're talking about the virus and everybody being, like, stay-at-home orders and all this stuff, I, I mean... Weirdest thing I've been a part of since the 80s. The only thing that'd be even close was like 9-11 or uh, Crash of 08. But I think this is just totally different. Okay, good. Nice. That's a good engage. Now at least it's um oh, okay, shots. Okay, good. At least it's down here sort of uh, blocking Shivana, so that's good. Uh okay. Yeah, we'll be ready to run. Okay, good. Great. Don't die for it. Just, just get the tower and get out. Or you can go get dragon. I'd probably just get the tower and back. No, 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 no. Don't die for it. Don't die for it. It's not worth it. Yasuo's coming down also. Yasuo's coming down. You don't need to get out of there. Giovanna is not really going to do anything. She's like super weak early on without dragon form. But Yasuo's... 
are greeting out too much. Usually you want to just do one wave and then back. Yeah, it is kind of cool this year. They said there's going to be some Arctic winds or something coming in in May. Um, the, the reason that you want... Because, like, now they can get dragged. Like, that's the problem. If I don't know if Shivana's going to go for it, but... If they understand that you all just back, they could hard push this lane and go get Dragon. And Wes... Caitlyn didn't even buy anything important. Like, if Caitlyn desperately needs one more wave to get a BF sword or something, maybe you can do that. But usually you don't want to overstay um, for a wave because then they get priority in the lane. So then they're going to show up right when you're backing, which means they can push, and the wave's going to be in your tower by the time you get back. So it's basically symmetrical. Like, you're going to get a little bit more CS in the short term for your back, but you're going to lose the CS on your way back because it's going to be in the tower. So it's kind of like you're just taking a loan for the CS a lot of the time. You're not, So you're not really gaining it. You're just kind of pulling your gold forward for a better back timing most of the time. But the price for that is... Um, they get priority. So they could have gone to go do dragon right there. They had a window. Um, no, it... I, I don't think that's it, Chelty. Um, I do think that it has to do with... Probably um, something to do with climate change and, like, shifting tides or something like that in the ocean. Or bringing, like, more cool air for some reason. So I'm like... El Nino type of stuff. Shut down. too bloodthirsty here. It's okay just to put him in the tower and back, you know? Just get a blade or something in his back. Let me see what went wrong there. kind of nullified a lot of your advantage. I just got a three for one. It's unfortunate that your Caitlyn got tier two boots that early. Like, boots are a trap. Tier two boots are a trap. For a lot of champions. Unless, like, there are some, but ADCs, you don't need that. Especially, they don't have a... Like, if they have, like, a Blitzcrank or something, and you're, like, you're really desperately scared of a skill shot, like, boots are okay. But... But, I mean, you can't control her build. But you just gotta take note that she's not as powerful as it would seem. Because her items are pretty trash. Because, um... She just she doesn't really scale that well with attack speed to begin with. She has one of the slowest base attack speeds in the game. Not like Senna slow, but it's still pretty slow. So she really doesn't get a lot off of the person. And attack speed in general is pretty weak early game. It's much more of a scaling stat. You just want those really quick short trades. Okay, there's three top. Now you gotta be careful. Um, Okay, Yasuo's dead. Shivana could be coming down. Shivana's usually not a good ganker. Uh, okay. Nice. 
I was about to say, a little spooky, not knowing where the jungler is. Don't help her, don't help her. She's dead, she's dead. You're just gonna die too. I think. Uh, yeah, no, you're, you guys are gonna, you're just both gonna die. Yeah, you should've just left her to die. She shouldn't have, so the biggest thing here is diving. Like, you just, I mean, a big thing to learn here, which kind of sucks, is if if someone's doing something dumb, you just gotta let them die. Like, when she flashes forward, you guys had no vision of their jungle. You know their jungler's not top, because they were all up top in the tower. So, if she was top, she would have been there. Um, so, you know that she's likely in the bottom, like, area. And like I said, she's not that scary of a ganker, but at the same time, if... If you just walk into her at like 25% health, she can handle that. Um, <coughs> that that's actually pretty bad because she does scale pretty well. Um, so the AP version can start hitting really hard. Why do people want names like that? We saw some weird stuff. I mean, we see weird stuff all the time. They're like, like, hey man, what's your ID? And oh, rectal carcinoma. It's not new mic settings. I just turned the volume all the way up. On the mic. People said it was quiet, so I just literally turned it all the way up. Uh, my new mic is in the mail, though. I believe or it's going to be in the mail soon. I think it said it was around May 15th. It was going to arrive. Everything's delayed a little bit. Like the non-essential stuff, because everyone's ordering so much from like food and things like that. I think, um, you know, frivolous stuff like bikes and things like that probably take a back seat. Um, pretty good watching the dairy rotation. So I think your, your, like, your initial engages are good. Y'all are good for staying, like, overrating for some of those. And a lot of it's not you, it's them. But as Alistar, it just sucks, like, because you have no escape. You really have to just let people die that are doing um, stuff that's too risky. Like, if you feel it in your mind, this is a bad idea, it's okay to walk away. Like, you might get pinged for it, but that's fine. If you deserve to climb, you have to be the one that's smarter than everybody else. Because if you're just the same as everybody else, you're not going to climb, you know? At the same level. So a lot of times, if you're doing stuff to climb, especially if you're like a support or a jungler, if you're doing stuff that a lot of people don't understand very well, like roaming, calibrating, engages, and stuff like that, um, a lot of people just don't get that. If it's not like you killing 20 people, people don't understand if it's good or not. So, you just gotta, you know, trust yourself and just, if people are doing something dumb, let them die. It's not your responsibility to go down with the ship. And that is, that is hard to do on champions like Alistar, you know, because you don't have a reverse gear and your instinct always as a support is always going to be to go try to help, you know. But I find myself getting baited into that stuff all the time. Hey, thanks Ray Woods, I appreciate it. Awesome, man. Thanks for being a long-time viewer. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, that, that's, that's a questionable one. So let's go over why that's questionable to go with you. Um, the big reason is you only have three people there, right? I'm pretty sure. There. Was she there at the start? 
first of all, it's close to their tower. Elise is really low. Like, ever, Akali's low. Caitlyn's low. Yeah. So, Teemo's not there. And, like, the best case scenario, even if Elise commits to that, is that, you know, you're starting a fight, a 4v5 near their tower, because Teemo's definitely not there and he doesn't have teleport. So you're starting a fight near their tier 2 with, like, 50% health on some of your key, um, some of your key players. So you really don't want to do that. Team's turret has been destroyed. Um. Yeah, I know, like, on paper, it looked like they only had three people there, but if you don't see people in other lanes, then just assume they're close by. Especially, I'm not sure what this elo bracket is, but honestly... Now everyone says the game sounds are too loud. This is why when I start tinkering with volume, it's always like an entire ordeal all night. Some people will say stuff's too quiet, some people say stuff's too loud. Okay. Um. But yeah, especially until you start getting into like high platinum and diamond even people just assume they're all grouped. Everyone's gonna be thinking, um, okay, gold too. Everyone just wants to A RAM most of the time. So if you don't see people on the map, just think that they're close by, that they're running there. I'm not sh I mean... Righteous is good. Righteous is expensive. Okay, nice. Um, the, the thing is, like... With Moby Boots Alistar, you're already gonna have a good engage. You know what I mean? I mean, it does put a slow on him, which is nice. I'm just thinking, like, either Gargoyle Stone Plate. Like, you are tanky with your ult, but that would make you even tankier. Because you are still getting blown up, even with your ult, you know, in these fights. They just have a lot of damage between, like, Darius and Shivana. And you don't want the Darius to ult you in a fight and kill you, right? Because then he gets resets and all that. So it's really important that you stay alive. So I would have maybe just gone Gargoyle instead of um, Righteous. Especially because most of these fights are team fights. So it's not like you're rotating around, playing around a split pusher a lot of the time. So you're going to get the full value out of Righteous. I would probably just go for, um, out of um, Gargoyle. So I'd probably just go Gargoyle. Um, Or, I mean, like, Knight's Vow also would give a little bit more help to your team, but... I don't know, Righteous is okay, but I feel like it's just kind of doubling down on something that you're already really good at. Like, Alistar already has a point play goal. Team fighting is going to be very hard with your team. It's like, Teemo is just kind of worthless, and he doesn't have TP. Elise is not great at team fighting either. Um, I mean, you can't really, you can maybe tell your team to try to split push. Okay, that was nice. Yeah, it, it, 
it's just... It just feels like it's gonna be a possibility team fight. You really need, like, Teemo and Akali to 1-3-1 one, one split. But you don't even have that great of a... It's just a... It's a bad con. If you don't have any, like, ranged champions that can hold, like, middle that well. Usually for a good split comp, you need somebody who can force a 2v1 in a side lane, and then you also need, um, the rest of your team has to be able to wave clear in the middle. And, like, be able to disengage from a, um, 4v5. Okay. It looked good, but she ran out of juice. Lisa's is a sprinter, not a uh, distance runner. Opening up the map like that would allow Elise to make some picks, too. I mean, maybe doing a... Um... I mean, that's good. But... Okay, maybe this is it. Oh, the triumph heal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go for Bear. If Shivana steals this, I'm gonna be sad, but... Catch by the Akali. Okay. Oh no. Wait, did everyone just leave you to die? Elise is doing blue, are you kidding? Wait, what? Oh, did you get killed by the like a Shivana E or something? Sorry, I was looking at Elise on the mini map. You gotta watch out for that fadeaway, Jay. The hitbox on that is so wonky, though. At least it didn't even get blue. I don't know. Uh, okay, this is... Well... Okay, I mean, Teemo's... Teemo's putting in some work. Should have it like some random Yasuo tornado seal or something. Okay. Uh, dragon is up. Is it a dragon timer? Hard to see. Eh, they can do it. I mean, everybody's dead. At least does take it pretty quickly. I wish I was better. Like. I don't know. Elise is a really good tempo champ, but is the sound a little bit better? Maybe I could turn down the sound effect. I don't know. It is always kind of loud in team fights. Casual triple. Yeah, the Teemo. Um, I mean, he is going good items. I don't know. I don't know about Hourglass, but I like the uh, Leandri's Nashers. I'd, I'd rather have Ludens there. Caitlyn is kind of lacking damage. Uh, questionable. You do have Rift going middle, though. Okay. Just just let the Rift get pressure. Yeah, let Teemo get shrooms down. Let Rift get pressure. You got Caitlyn traps, too. Okay. That, that was good. You got them all cut off. No, I don't. There is no resets. No, no, no. What? Uh, okay. I yeah, got him. A little spooky. Darius is pretty far behind now. Okay, and you got a charge now. I don't really, in general, like the Rift as a split, because it's so strong. Especially if you have Baron up minions to get whip in. I really don't like the Rift, the Distraction Rift. Because you didn't need it, you know? Like, you have really good zone control. That is one thing your team does have. It does have good zone control around objectives. You can force them to come into you with Teemo, and you have to take the trap. Oh god, Yasuo of Destiny. Okay, y'all gotta back. Back, 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 back. Get this, get this inhibitor back up. Don't overstay. Just leave them. Leave them. If they in, just let them in. Back up, back up. Y'all are not taking this. You're too low.
It's like one of the number one ways to throw a game is overstay after an inhibitor kill. Let's let her go. If she dies, she's dead. Just back up. Just leave. No, 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 no. Just leave. If this Caitlyn's gonna get you guys, you're gonna lose the game because it's Caitlyn. She's gonna bait y'all into something stupid. Just back. Like, you're half health. I don't know. I don't, I don't like the sit in a random bush macro. No, 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 no. You don't have a collie. Elise is out of position. I mean, maybe I'll pull it off. And I think that was that was real rough. Okay, it worked out for you. I mean, you guys basically opted into a three and a half V5. At least it's like a half. She's sort of close, but... I mean, you did have a nice flanking position, and you did have a surprise element on them, so they're probably really confused what's going on. But, I mean, it was a creative game, but... Head back. Head back. You're too low, you're too low, you're too low, you're not gonna get it. No. 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 It's back. I didn't have Kate Caitlyn back. I mean that is one way to break up their team fight. You guys have been sort of guerrilla, you know, guerrilla warfare style here kept them from clean 5v5 fighting, which is good. That's something you definitely need to do. You don't want to fight them in a clean 5v5. Demo actually is uh, having some pretty good impact here with those shrooms. Like, he is setting them up, making plays off of them. He has a good build. I still don't like the hourglass. I'd rather that be Ludens, but other than that, I mean, pretty close. I'll definitely take that over Blather and King Demo any day of the week. I don't even think it was overconfident, though, Jesus. I think it was just an overstay. Like, they were just trying to end the game. But I don't think anyone was trying to 1v9. I just think... Yeah, that's what I was talking about Caitlyn's name earlier. Like, why would you make that your IGN? Like, it's not even, like... Edgelord. It's just gross. Darius loves this kind of stuff too. Like he's the type of champ that can end all game and then just penta kill. Which is he didn't get a penta, but yeah, so y'all have gotten away with like taking these hide and bush fights. Like you don't have Teemo, you don't have Elise really. This, this is a 3v5. Yeah, you know, like we were talking about earlier, you just gotta just assume they're all there. <laughs> Unless you see somebody in a side lane. Oh, Darius just got to chuck it. Oh, I like Knight's Val here. Uh, it's just a good utility item. It just helps bring a bit of tankiness to your team. Helps stop people from getting one shot. They have... I mean, Shivana's their only AP. She's a lot of AP if she has cap. Shouldn't have cap yet. She got hourglass. People just love hourglass. I don't know what, what's up with that, but Shivana really shouldn't be having hourglass either. Um, I just don't like hourglass on most ranged um, mages, but unless you have like a special interaction, most people just don't even use it properly. Okay, let me see. Well, you're not even a part of this, but yeah, this is the. Everyone's just hiding in bushes, thinking they're gonna pick somebody off. It's like, oh look, it's just a couple of people. Let me. Like, nope. They're all there. When people try to trade one for one all the time. They're like, well, if I get a kill and they get a kill, that's fine. She did get two, to be fair. But it's still like. 
Everybody just like once a couple of people start making those plays, everyone just starts yoloing like everywhere. It just like sets the tempo to be this really kind of scrappy, just run around and trade kills constantly type of gameplay, and that just gets really coin flippy. I think I, I would not opt into that gameplay. This is a 3v3, in theory, until the fourth person shows up in a minute. Don't dive, don't dive. Y'all should have probably just gone for Baron. Like, instead of, um, instead of chasing kills over here, just notice they're all bottom. Like, it is. I'm not saying people don't do that, Jesus, but I think it's also just, I think it's just poor macro. I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying sometimes it's not an issue of confidence as much as it is, in, like, of arrogance as much as it is of ignorance. Like, that's that's what I'm saying. I mean, I don't even know if that distinguishes. Well, I mean, I guess you don't have your jungler. That is, I mean, that's, that's a thing. But... I don't know. Maybe that is correct. Just try to see if you can get a couple of kills here. But in general, like, they have to go match middle. Because, like, the supers are pushing there. So, may I don't know. I, I guess without Elise, you can't do it. If Elise wasn't dead, you could uh, destroy Dragon or Air in there. But I guess this is correct. This is delaying their back, and now y'all can get the tier 2 bottom. You gotta spread out a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, y'all need to try to play around the split a little bit more. Why this looks like it's getting kind of choppy. Y'all gotta try to just split with um, Akali and Teemo. Yeah, what the hell? That's my FPS, right? Or is that yours? I think that's mine, right? Watching this? Yeah, something. I'm just gonna look at this. 
Okay, let me let me just. I'm not sure what's. Sometimes op.gg. X out of these random windows here. I think I have anything else over here that matter. Yeah, that pulled it down a little bit. Making sure like. Things like downloading updates. Okay. At least it's over a hundred. Usually I'm getting like two hundred something. Yeah, Locket. I like Locket. Good team fight item. I still think Gargoyle, like, Gargoyle is just pretty much on any tank, you just get Gargoyle. Alright, so pop it down to like 13 FPS. Like, what the hell? Yeah, just stay out of that. I mean, that's probably going to be game ending, but you can't really do anything by going into yourself. unfortunate someone just got caught and killed. Alright, so, the biggest things, um, the biggest things are just, like, to be sure to check your mini-map before the engage, um, and just make sure that you have a lot of people there. Just assume that anyone on the enemy team that you don't see on the map, that you don't know where they are, just assume they're there, like, that they're pretty close. Um... Uh, so that's kind of the biggest thing. Itemization, you know, we talked about it. Righteous is all right. I, I still think that Gargoyle is just, like, really OP. Like, it makes you so tanky. Um, I do like Knight's Vow. I do, let's see, I think your runes are good. You know, Aftershock and um, Hex Flash. Presumably you went, like, uh, Cosmic Insight or something as your secondary. There's your second one in the Inspiration Tree. Um, yeah, not overstaying on stuff is a big deal. Um, you know, just looking at health bars and just saying, you know, can we, can we really finish this? It's okay to take a small victory, right? It's okay to just make them back and get a plate or, you know, just get a kill, push one wave and back. Um, the mid lane, you know, the engage, just look at everybody's health bar and think about their cooldowns. Just say, okay. Does everyone have mana? Does everyone have HP? Um, do we have important ultimates? And things like that. So just, you know, anytime you're playing an engaged champ, it's going to be tough because you have to check all these things and you're the one, you know, ultimately that has to make the call. Is this going to be a good fight or not? And you just make sure that you're kind of running through all that calculus, you know, in your head. You're thinking of those things before you engage. The biggest stuff is... Um, you know, look at your mini map, make sure you have people there, and then think about your resources, right? Cooldowns, health, mana. Um, yeah, wards are helpful too. So I think the main thing, and your team started to kind of do this. I mean, they just started inting in the middle of the game, like around that Baron fight. They just kept running in, and you're just picking people off. But I think um, Having a 1-3-1 with Teemo and Akali working side lanes and then trying to get picks with um, Elise uh, and like the Teemo shrooms. I think that's probably the best thing to do. It turned out everyone's just like standing around in bushes trying to make picks, which 
did work out for y'all sometimes, but like I said, it can get kind of coin flippy too. Because there were a couple of those fights where y'all engaged, you thought it was only a couple of people and it ended up being all five. But yeah, you really should try to never fight them in a 5v5. Because if Darius gets one reset, it's, you know, it's going to be lights out. And then with the, um, the Sona plus Misfortune ults, it's just too much damage in team fights. And Sona, you know, just the healing she puts out, the healing and shielding, if she gets off like two Ws, it's probably over. It's just thousands and thousands of effective health. Um, but anyways, okay, so I hope this helps you out. So the biggest thing, you know, to work on, let people die. They're doing stupid stuff. Try not to overstay for objectives and just uh, look a little bit more carefully at um, your mini-map and your resources before you engage. Make sure it's um, ideally at least an even fight, five on five, and... Um, I say ideally make sure it's at least a five on five and then ideally you know something that's even better than that where you're getting advantageous numbers but anyways that's going to be it uh thank you very much the stream's going to continue that's it for the coaching anyone else out there who'd like coaching just email me at the stretch professor gmail.com or just stop by the stream uh say hey do a coaching session anytime for you um if you want to watch more i'll have a link in the description of this standalone video and i'll see you next time have a good day